What is going on today, guys? So today is the day. Me and my boy Bryson, we're gonna be pulling this motor. All right, so I kept trying to record, but the camera kept dying. So now we got it plugged into the wall. Katie's running it. But anywho, like I said in the last video, um, pretty much talking about why we're pulling this and what our next step and direction is. Um, if people didn't see that video, uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened yet. I think. I lifted the head. I'm, head. I'm running 35 pounds of boost, so it isn't uncommon to have that head lift. Uh, I do have AARP head studs and all that good stuff in there, but when you push that much boost, it's bound to happen. So the motor is still safe, it's still healthy, it still runs. I've got another head gasket in there, but we're gonna just save this motor for our next build and put the LS in this now. So yeah, me and my boy, we were talking about it. I kind of gave him the rundown. He hasn't worked on cars too much, but he's excited too. So I kind of gave him the rundown on what we're uh, gonna start pulling and see if we can get this motor out in about an hour. I think an hour is plenty of time to get this completely out. I have it all race ready set up. I made this front support two bolts. That thing comes directly out of there. So it should be pretty quick and easy. Um, I am gonna take my time and try to teach my son about uh, what parts he's working on, what he's taking off, and things like that. So we're in no rush to see how fast we can get this motor out. I do still think it'll be about an hour, but if it takes longer, that is totally okay. I'd rather have my son learn something about cars than, you know, just try to rush when he's not learning anything but just ripping bolts off. So we're gonna throw it on time lapse to get this motor out of here. So my boy pulled the coolant drain on the radiator and I wasn't paying attention. I was doing something else. He's like, yo dad, what's all that black stuff on that? Look at that magnet. That thing is pretty nasty. I think the water pump, I don't know if the water pump propeller was metal or not, but I don't know. Maybe that was an issue why we blew out the water right out of the front of the head there. I don't know. That's pretty, pretty mucky. I mean, that... If I can get it with one hand, that's quite a bit. And this motor has been out plenty of times with new cooling it every single time. So I don't know, just figured I'd show that real quick.
right, so we got it out. Motor is out, sitting over here. Everything came out really smooth, really nice. I've pulled this motor out a few different times in my life, so it's pretty easy to do. I say easy, I just know it well. So I know where every nut and bolt is, you know, that type of situation. So we'll get in here, probably pressure wash everything. I'm probably gonna have to pull this and put this in a new location, my uh, catch can. Put that in a new location. We still need to get the wire harness out and um, just kind of get it ready for the LS to come in. I'll say LS as well. It's just a 5.3. Um, I've already ordered everything for it. So I've got the turbo. I got all the hot side metal. We're going to fab everything up. We're going to fab our own turbo kit. But all the piping that I need, um, blow off valves, waste gates, uh, flanges, everything. I've already ordered everything. Um, we are going to be running the Holly Terminator X. Uh, for the computer system on it. So that'll be kind of nice, something that's easy, something I've kind of used before. We had one casualty. Um, the strap on the transmission had slipped, actually, it had ripped a hole in there where I had it. And the transmission came down a little bit and dropped the torque converter out of there. So we had a lot of blood all over the floor and stuff. It wasn't this high up when it fell out, but. It started bleeding everywhere and had a big, huge mess to clean up. So, yeah, um, I believe that is it. Quick, short video of us just pulling the motor. Um, and like I said, here by the end of the week, we should start being able to mock up the new motor, mock up the turbo system and things like that. So definitely stay tuned. we got lots more to come. Um, I'm bummed that the this happened this close to the races. There's literally less than a month less before racing. And I'm bummed that that happened. But I'm also excited. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And it's just pushing us to go for it now. And uh, that's exciting. So right on. We'll catch y'all later. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.